Hey guys and welcome back to Birkenix Garage. In today's episode, we are going to review the Carista OBD2 dongle. It's actually one that I've used before and is a cheap alternative to OBD11. This is only 25 pound. I'll put a link in the description if you want to buy it. But it's actually subscription based. So where OBD11 it's kind of pay as you go because you buy credits and then you spend credit. This one is subscription based. One, when you buy it, it comes with one month free. Then it's either 45 quid for the year or 10 pounds for one month. But you know, depending on what you're planning to do, it might be cheaper to go for this one than OBD11. I will buy an OBD11 later and I will do a review about it, obviously, and then we'll be able to compare the two. But basically what it is, so if you're not familiar with OBD2 dongle, they are just little plugs that you put in your OBD2 car port on the Audi S3, it's uh, in the bottom here. And then basically you plug that in, you download the Carista app, from Android or iOS and then uh, you just plug it in and connect it to your app which is what we are going to do so here I'm in the S3 I've got the key everything is off I'm going to put the dongle and then I'm going to switch the car and put it on to ignition we don't start the car you can see underneath here and there we go we already installed Carista, as you can see here. Connect. What kind of ODB adapter are you using? Carista. Let's allow it. Allow it. You need Bluetooth for that. So here we go. We are now connected with the car. And as you can see, we've got Diagnose, Customize, Service and Live Data. So diagnose is to do your usual uh, check on reset fault codes and stuff like that. Customize is the section that I was interested by. You just click on customize and you wait for it to load all the options available. Okay, so once you've got your features loaded, as you can see, there is a wide range of them, including some interesting one up here. Disable auto startup system, item B. Actually, I've never done this before, but I might as well do it. <coughs> so you just pick your setting, click save. Ah, maybe that setting is not supported by this one, even though it says 2009 plus. So otherwise, we've got another one here. Disable auto start system. You won't get any indication. Uh, we can take an easier one. So for example, if you go to maybe light interior, we want to enable the footwell light. I normally have them off because I like low light. Click, save. And here you go. Job done. As you can see, sometimes you've got multiple steps. Yeah, you've got brightness as well. If you want to just change the brightness of it. But yeah, you know, here is basically just explore. Some features might not work depending on your model, but it will say so. Come on, go away, go away. Not now. So after we've got the diagnosis section as well. So let's do a diagnostic on my car and see. And here we go. Seems to be all done. So we do have six volt here. One on the ABS. Let's check out what it is. Manufacturer specific code, it doesn't really tell us much. Looks like we can click on it, and yeah, it will open it up. And at least we can find out what it is. But you can also just reset them. What I'm going to do is basically I'm going to reset them all, and then I'll do another scan at some point and see whether anything new is present so we've seen diagnose on customers let's check out service check in your vehicle for available service tools you can see various information 
And here we go, we've got all of data loaded. So yeah, and then if we go for live data, and here we go, we've got your list of data. You can have like car battery info, for example. Let's see what we can get there. And here we go, we've got a reading. Oui, nice little app, it's easy to browse, easy to use, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've been quite happy with it for the time I've used it, and currently there is a Christmas sale, so you can get three months for the price of one, which ain't bad. And that's it for this review of Carista, guys. To be honest, for the amount of money this is, I would say just go for it, uh, you know, and if you plan it well, do all your mod the first month, then cancel your subscription because you start a subscription, the first month is free. But otherwise, for like 25 quid, you can do all the modification you want to your car in one go. After, unfortunately, it's attached to your account, so you can't just buy another dongle and then uh, get another one. Get another three months, basically, this is what I had to find out. But yeah, so I just paid 10 quid and then got uh, three months out of it. So pretty good deal. So yeah, if you've got a Vag car or Audi S3, a Golf R, it supports a bunch of vehicles, go check their website to see which vehicles they support. Uh, just go for it, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few episodes showing various settings. Uh, somebody has asked, for example, how I got the all to display on my middle, on my dash, constantly. Uh, so I will show you that on other cool features and options that we can try and see what they actually do on the Audi S3 8V. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Give us a like, give us a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.